One of the best things about coming to Art Bank is you get to kind of walk through and look at all these different artworks here. And when I was walking through trying to pick an artwork to talk about, I was immediately drawn to this one. And I think the thing that first kind of captured me about it was I thought it might have been done by an Asian artist. You see a lot of um, Asian paintings of fish and things, and you have there tend to be nine fish kind of swimming around and doing certain things. But uh, I didn't realise that these were frogs at first and the kind of colour scheme of it seemed slightly Asian to me. And then when I was told it was Lynn Onis, who's an Aboriginal artist with Scottish heritage and Aboriginal heritage, his father was from the Yorta Yorta people, it kind of made me think a little bit deeper about it because my mother is English and my dad's Chinese. And a lot of Lynn Onis's work explores his experiences with racism and with being biracial in Australia and even though his experience and, and his background is completely different from mine I could kind of see where it was coming from particularly in this work and in a lot of others as well. I think with the colours of it you know you, you get a real sense of depth and that's something that I've noticed a lot in a lot of Lynn Onis's work it kind of captures that space between the earth and the sky very well, which when you think about it, it's something that's very difficult to do, We're really working in those two dimensions. And whether it's perspective looking up or whether it's using reflection in, an, in, a, in a way like this, which is extremely clever, if you look at the painting, there's these frogs sitting in a, um, in a very shallow body of water and the body of water is reflecting wattle that's hanging over it. You can get a real understanding of the way, uh, of where this is and, and, and of that space that goes a lot further than the two dimensions of the painting. I guess if you were to draw a parallel between art and cooking and art and food, uh, I had a really good conversation with an artist um, not long ago about that parallel. We came to the conclusion that if you look at a flavour as a colour and, and the shape is analogous to the texture and we we're talking about which one of those things is more important. I've always thought that in food, texture is far more important than flavour. You know, if you think about a loaf of bread or, or the difference between stale bread and fresh bread, one tastes good, one tastes bad. They taste exactly the same flavour-wise, but the texture is different. It's the same as, you know, a, a soggy hot chip or one that's been freshly fried. Exactly the same flavour because the texture is different. That's the difference between good and bad. And I guess it's the same thing in art. If you have a painting of a person's face and that face is orange or green or blue, it all still looks like the same face. But if you have a painting of something in sort of skin tones and it's not in the shape of a face, you're not going to know it's a person. So that shape or texture of what you do is so much more important than the flavour or the colour of it. Of course, I know absolutely nothing about art, <laughs> but I don't think you need to know anything about art. I think when you approach new art and when you approach uh, a new experience, it's kind of just like meeting a new person. Your first impressions count. Obviously, you walk past a painting like this and um, it hits you with whatever that first impression is. But then as you get to know it and you stare at it for a bit longer, it changes ever so slightly. You do start to see new things or maybe something that you saw before starts to look a bit different. You know, the first time when I saw this painting and I thought they were fish, I thought it was a very different painting for, for now when I know that they're frogs. But the same overall impression kind of still stays with me. I still love the way it looks. I, I like what it conveys about not only the artist but about me as the viewer and the appreciator of, of the art. I think somebody else coming to this painting would look at it and think about it a very different way. And that's that's a really nice thing about art. It's very personal. You know, I, I've never met Linonis. I never will because he's passed away. But he and I, in some way, have shared an experience or he has created an experience for me that's very specifically for me.